Good day YouTube, JB from Oz here. So the other day I showed you me repairing this Fowler verdict indicator and from what I can read on the dial it's reading in half a thou increments so the entire gauge from 0 to 10 is a thou oh sorry 10 thou so the dot is a half a thou increment between so one of the tests I've been wanting to do on my AL960 lathe is to see how true it is and to see if there's any wear or damage or anything like that in the spindle so here I'm actually loaded up with a chuck on the spindle um, now this is an Emco four jaw chuck it's got a D14 cam lock on the back. So my hope was that being Emco and being a cam lock, that it would actually be fairly good on center. So check this out. I'm seeing two fifths of bugger all. Sorry, just knocked something there. If the line to the dot is five hundred thousandths or five tenths as it might be called, I'm thinking at the outside of the chuck there that I've got maybe two tenths. I'm just gonna try lifting on the chuck and pushing on the chuck. And I haven't got a bar in there to give it a, a lot of welly but there is no movement on that dial so first test looks pretty good um, let's see if I can drop the chuck off and actually do a test on the spindle taper there's a Morse 5 taper in the spindle so I'll bring you back so that's the back of the Enco chuck as I've pulled it out looks in pretty good condition and the spindle. So I'll just set up the dial on the outside of that taper firstly and see if I can get a read. Okay, so here I'm trying to get a read on the outside of the spindle. Just to show you it is actually touching there. Uh, it's not moving at all. That is lovely. That is so nice. All right. And I guess I could also test the inside of the, the Morse taper there. You just get it set up and come back in. All right, so this time I've got it running on the inside of the taper. So that doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> That's just a blow away. All right, so test one is now completed. I'm happy that the spindle is running true and that there's no run out and that there's no lash in it. Those bearings are good. The surfaces are good. Cam lock taper to the MCO is good. The outside of the MCO is good. It's a four-drill chuck, so it doesn't really matter. I can always center up something with the chuck, but the outside is running true. So there's a little bit of surface on it. There's probably you know, a tenth or two just of surface rust that it's reading. Um, all right, so the next item I've got is on this end of the headstock is the drive for the gearbox for the feed and also the thread cutting. So I believe this lathe was dropped and I believe this shaft had been taken out possibly to get a gear out of it or something.
or possibly because the shaft was bent. So one of the things I need to check is, is there any bend on that shaft? If there is, I'll need to straighten it. And if there isn't, then I'll just need to put it back together again. But that is happy days, very happy days.